Yeah, I've just been like contemplating some things and realizing that I've been sharing my gifts in places that I haven't been honored in. And that's a really shitty feeling to realize because, hey you, because you want to feel loved, you know, this, these guys show me like 100% unconditional love, right? Like our animals give us that example. So when I go out into the world of humans and I come up against, you know, conditional love, and it's kind of disappointing, right? And it's, it's really depleting energetically. So how can we avoid doing that to ourselves, putting ourselves out there where we're not received well, where we're just basically shut down and um, made to feel like crap about ourselves? How can we avoid all of that? We all know about the Bible verse about not casting your pearls to swine. And, you know, I, I get that. So I, I realize that I have to be more discerning and with YouTube it's a little tricky because I'm basically just putting this out there to the world but you know it is very much the same as anything else though it's very much about your intention so what is your intention are you just looking for attention from whoever or do you have a very distinct and particular group or people or mindset that you want to resonate with. In my case right now, I know that I'm putting my intention out there that I want to connect with my truest soul family, not this like karmic, fake, kind of lesson learned kind of a situationship. With I realize, you know, I'm looking for something more. I want something deeper. So since I've put that out to the universe and I've said, you know what, I only really want to connect with people that honor me, that care, that can look at me and say, you know what, I can reflect on what that person's going through and I can have some sort of compassion and understanding. It's really like sort of simple. I'm just looking for people that I can just be myself with around and not face that negative projection of just like that mucky energy. So as I'm putting this out there to the universe, I'm seeing it kind of come back to me in these beautiful ways. And that's kind of what I want to share with you in the video. When we start sharing our gifts with people that truly honor and respect them, that's when we get that kind of energetic return and we can feel the love and we can feel the value uh, and the depth of who we are because we see it in the reflection of those others. I love how the lighting's changing. I picked this spot because it was like super sunny, but now it's changing. But anyway, I, uh, I have this beautiful drum here that this amazing soul gave to me. She is from the Native American tradition and as you can see it has the buffalo and she made this mallet and so she gave it to me the day pretty much that I left the sacred lands of Sedona and I was so honored and touched that she would give me this like beautiful beautiful drum hi buddy that she loves so much and endears so much herself another really beautiful gift that I was given is this um, Japanese flag and this is from a very remote village in Japan and so this was gifted to me by this beautiful group about five people that are from a remote village in Japan and they came to Sedona to receive a healing and a meditation and intuitive journey from me and they loved it we all had an amazing basically transcendental experience and they ended up giving me their um, flag from their village in Japan as a token of their appreciation and this is the volcano that's uh, pretty active there they say and it has a very unique spirit and I am just 
yeah, even though I'm, you know, on this journey and I like to keep everything very minimal, these are two of the things that I like to keep with me. And it just kind of reminds me of the understanding that I have now that I only should be sharing my gifts with those who honor them at that at this time and if you resonate with that that's beautiful you know sometimes it's not always the case sometimes we have to go into areas that everyone is completely asleep and um, we have to be a way shower of that light and you know sometimes uh, we have to kind of be pioneers in that way. I, so I understand if that's not um, completely 100% always the case for us all. But as a rule of thumb, as a key intention that I'm, I'm keeping for myself is to, you know, make sure that I share my gifts only with those souls who are ready for them, who are open and willing to receive that gift and have an honorable appreciation in their heart. It's, it's kind of uh, simple at this point, and I think it's a requirement because of how deeply in tune and sensitive and keen we are on the subtle energies of, of this life. And so since we're so sensitive to that and it really affects us or it, it has the possibility to, we really have to take the initiation or we have to kind of initiate that intention to make sure that we're only putting ourselves out there in beautiful places, <laughs> if that is possible at this time for you. So I... Uh, wanted to share that with you today and I know YouTube's a little funny in that way it's kind of like I'm just putting everything out there to the world but this is what I'm being guided to do and the universe is also saying that I do have some say in where my energy goes I can set the intention by saying may this information find it to loving supportive souls who are open, ready, and willing to receive this information for their highest healing and growth. Mm. I think that's my message. And hey, little girl, we're up here in the beautiful Cascades and lovely Oregon. And yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you and this beautiful energy. This is kind of like home for us every time we come up here it's just such a breath of fresh air and yeah I thought I'd share that with you today so anyway much love to you and until my next video mwah, peace hmm.